Hey everyone, my name is Dexran, and today I will be going over the Bard Healer spec Harmony in Swords of Legends Online. Bard Healer is your traditional style of play that is most akin to White Mage in Final Fantasy XIV, with Regen and Medica 2 replaced with Shields and borrowing Exgog from Scholar. This would also be Holy Priest in World of Warcraft. Harmony specializes in burst healing while also being able to apply shields. This gives you plenty of options to bring the party back from the brink of death. Timestamps will be below if you would like to skip to a particular section. Starting off with the two spammable abilities, Bart has Ornamental Orchid which is your main single target heal and Sun of Spring which is the AoE version. Ornamental Orchid has an additional effect of reducing the cooldown on Dawn of Spring. Dawn of Spring is your strong single target heal packed with three stacks of Tau Follows Nature. One stack is consumed when the target's HP drops below 75% and heals the target. This has a fairly short cooldown which is reduced by haste and since this is shortened each time you cast Ornamental Orchid, feel free to use this skill liberally. Note that the stacks of Tau Follows Nature can only be active on one ally at a time. Next up are your shield abilities. High Mountains is a single target shield that has two charges. Multiple shields will stack in power and refresh the duration of the shields, but only up to a maximum of 10 seconds. Mountains Protection is a group shield on a 60 second cooldown. Bard's other big AoE cooldown is Forest Breeze, which heals and applies a hot, which takes every three seconds for a total of 18 seconds. Natural Harmony is a personal buff that reduces the cast time of your two spammable heals, Ornamental Orchid and Son of Spring, while also converting a percentage of their effective healing into a shield. This means overhealing does not create any shields. That would make Bard a little too busted. The cooldown is affected by haste, so as you get better gear, you will be able to have this buff up most of the time. Bard also has a slew of utility skills in the form of Notes of Tau and Music Achieve is your mana regen, which restores 70% of mana and gives immunity to crowd control over a 10 second duration. Snow Memorial, which encases you in ice and makes you immune to damage while also regenerating health and clearing any debuffs. Ice Crypt lets you cast this on an ally. Desert Ice immobilizes all nearby targets and can be used again as a backwards dodge. Sitting on Waves comes with two stacks that removes any crowd control, gives you three seconds of immunity to them, and pushes back nearby enemies who then have their movement halved and leaves them unable to perform movement abilities for five seconds. Quick Notes has two charges which lets you move while casting for 20 seconds. Bamboo in the Snow is your cleanse. Oven of Life places down an interactable oven which allies can interact with to get a 30 minute buff which increases their HP by 6. For Astral Blessings, I recommend the same as what the game tells you. Spring Orchid adds an additional effect to your two main spammable skills, Ornamental Orchid and Son of Spring. Both skills have a small chance to give you a proc that allows you to cast the opposite skill instantly for no mana cost. When this happens, you will see the respective skill get a moving dash border around the icon like this. River of Clouds is a self buff which increases your healing by 12% and reduces mana consumption by 20%. The other option, Dancing Orchids, is a solid pick for PvP since it gives you some extra emergency movement. Soulmate increases the shield of high mountains by 50% and increases the cooldown by 20%. The beefier shield is well worth the extra cooldown time, especially since its cooldown is affected by haste. Flowing Spring is only a good option for PvP if you pair it with 3 stacks from the first Astral Blessing slot. Solid Ground is an 8 second damage reduction buff. This is our only form of damage reduction, so it is the obvious choice. Exuberant pales in comparison since Bard already has so many options for handling crowd control. Yi Chao Sheng is a passive that regenerates 1% mana for every 12 seconds. Change of Strings is great in PvP if you are playing shorter game modes where mana will be burnt quickly and a passive regen will not keep up. The glyphs I recommend are Resonant Rhythm, which increases casting speed during Natural Harmony, Bamboo Forest Concert, which transfers the extra health regenerated over 75% once a stack of Tau Follows Nature is popped to the ally with the lowest HP. Jade Pendant regenerates 50 mana if you heal someone for more than 90% of their HP with Ornamental Orchid. Auspicious Snow adds two more targets to your Son of Spring ability. In most cases, this will be superior to Portia of Yan Hui Qing unless you are running content with five or less people. In a standard group size of 10, it is likely that if multiple people are taking damage, it is more than four. Onto gearing and stat priority, Spring Rain is the best soul force with no competition. The stat priority goes Haste, Healing Effect, then Mastery or Magic Power. This is when choosing which stat to prioritize. By weight, Healing Effect would be on top since it offers the most direct healing increase. 
Haste is by far the best stat for Bard. It reduces your casting time and the cooldowns for skills that are affected by haste. This leads to much more healing output when comparing stacking haste as much as possible versus the other stats, as well as being able to use some of your big cooldowns more often. Healing effect is a direct increase to your healing. Mastery and magic power vary depending on how you personally heal. Mastery offers more potency to your shields and magic power offers more potency to your healing. Note that for the stats that are not haste, this priority is for when comparing one of each stat point. I recommend using the combination tool to compare gear options when the difference is not one to one. For example, if you cannot add more haste with the gear upgrade and you're choosing between two extra healing effect or 20 extra magic power, test it for yourself just to be sure. It is likely that the higher amount will outweigh the other regardless of stat priority. Thanks for watching. I hope this guide was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I will do my absolute best to answer them. As always, take care.